day guys Austin here and in this one today we're taking a look at a switch emulator yep it is legit it is real and it's another one the other week we covered yuzu and this one is a new one Ryu Jinx Ryu Jinx I've got no idea how you pronounce these emulators it should come with a little bracketed area where it tells you how to pronounce them but I'm gonna go for Ryu Jinx because it rolls up the tongue easier for me now this is the official website i put links in the description down below that will guide you here uh everything that i'm going to show you today is basically the first time i'm running it so you get as much information as what i'm getting right now now i did test it the date was released they gave me a copy to well have a go at but it seemed to be bugged it didn't run on my computer however i'm told that this new version will now run so here we are we're going to test it out together how exciting is this now again this is the official website there's loads of information for you to peruse at your own leisure i'm not going to bore you with it all but this is where you can download apparently the latest build again please keep in mind these builds are considered unstable well to be honest the emulator is probably very unstable at this point i've heard tall tales of people getting up to certain scenarios within certain games but i am told by the developers themselves that you ain't gonna get nothing that includes any kind of 3d rendering at this stage nor in the foreseeable future however long that may be now i am told just like the yazoo guys that they are really getting stuck into this especially with the 2d based ones once they get the head around that then they're gonna start moving into the 3d stuff but that's a hell of a different ballpark so even if games do become bootable to some kind of menu screen or something like that you're definitely not going to get anything booting into game and playing it at this stage other than maybe some 2d based ones so i've got a selection of some 2d based homebrew and retro games and we're going to try and run it through this emulator today so yeah i've got no idea what's going on i'm told that um controllers don't work uh, there is some workarounds that you can do to make it happen i'm also told that people have got some guis that's been made and stuff like that but for now we're just going to go with the stock build that's going on because i know that this is basically what everyone else has got to play with so i want to use whatever you guys have got accessible so well here we are anyway so let's download i've already done that and here we are so i've got this which is the raw files this is exactly as it is downloaded from that download on the website and also i've got a selection of homebrew and retro games here now it does run retroarch games now you have to go around the houses to make it happen basically you need to build retroarch and the game together to make it work there is accessible on the internet these kind of stuff however i can't link those in the description down below because well i cannot i don't know if you own the game i don't know the laws in your countries i cannot just go around simply sharing games guys so please i can give you the emulator or the links to the official emulator but i can't give you that kind of stuff it's not in my ballpark so we're going to test them today and see how far we can get so i'm told that you simply just drag them over and play now i know that this is sonic 3 so we're going to make a run with this one see how far we can get so i'm simply going to drag it over to the application and let's go for it let's see what we can get so here we go this is ryu jinx me playing it for the first time let's see what we can get now let it pump up come on i've got fraps running by the way guys so you can see what kind of frame rate we're working with this one um can i make this any bigger i don't want to go full screen because it may change my um rendering it looks like i can't do anyway it's going to keep it at the native resolution now i can't use my controller it doesn't seem to be working as they told me but i can use my control pad normally when i'm using retroarch it's a and s for back and forwards enter for start cursor keys for going so we'll go see if we can get through this so it's launched into the retroarch menu let's see if we can get it to work so will it come under quick menu no nothing there uh load content how's about that all right let's find the game <laughs> straight away sonic so this is, should be sonic 3 if i'm not mistaken come on got this pressing the wrong buttons come on kick in there we go yes we are in so we got sonic 3 working we got no sound i've put by the way i've put um 
non-licensed music into this video by the way guys because well we don't need people kicking off but look at that it's running 60 frames per second I know yes we are running Sonic 3 but this is technically through the switch emulator this is crazy this is really crazy I wasn't expecting this I was told that it gets like 15 frames per second that was obviously a few days ago but now I'm getting 60 frames per second this is awesome news All right can I control this um, yep enter is indeed start let's get in there whoa I wasn't expecting this kind of performance I'm gonna zoom in a bit on the screen so we get rid of it but this is me in windowed mode as you just seen a second ago controls are working this is crazy I was not expecting this okay so I've got my controls working there we go so a is to jump and do the bits luckily Sonic's only like one um, key anyway cursor keys to move 60 frames per second fully playable this is I know yes again we are running a retro game I can't get up this give me up <laughs> yes I know we are running uh, a retro game through a modern emulator but this is proof of concept that it is actually working in a crazy way this is mental I wasn't expecting this kind of performance so I am told that Tetris is loading up to the boot screen Tetris Buyo Buyo whatever you call it I haven't got that game so I can't test it um, I am told that certain other full games are booting I don't know arms someone said but to be honest you got no chance absolutely no chance of even yeah you might load the menu screen or something like that but you got no chance of getting any kind of gameplay not for months I would reckon <laughs> cool let's kill Dr. Robotnik I'll try and kill him it's been so long since I've played Sonic 3 come on get me through well this is yeah again we're playing retro games but this is stable I was expecting what a crawling 15 frames per second or something like I was warned about I'm getting full on 60 I'm getting better performance than I am playing this through the native retro arch on my PC well maybe not that far but this is a lot better than what I expected right get to the end of the level and then we'll try something else oh God, it's been so long. I need my little uh, air hole to come up. Give me the air. Ah, oh, it's alright. I've made it anyway. Oh, I've got to the same place again. My keys are so loud. <laughs> this is not me testing the emulator. This is me testing my game skills, which is terribly bad. Oh, I think we get the point. Yeah, it's working. Sonic 3D is good. That is awesome news. Really good. So, so far we got Sonic. I've got no idea what this is. Let's give it a go. Boom, boom, boom. I believe this is RetroArch again. Again, 60 frames per second. Give it a chance to uh, boot up. And we'll see what it is that I put in here. Um, load content. Keep pressing the wrong key. Here we go. So this is Game Gear. And this is Pokemon. <laughs> it has been so long and it is not Game Gear. We are playing Game Boy. Yeah, my boy. Well, this is crazy. Again, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, it's not graphically intensive. Yeah, it's a retro game. But proof of concept that Rio Jinx is working is awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. So there we go. Oh my god, I've not played the old Pokemons for years. 
I've been trying to get complete in box for all the old Pokemons. Some of them are proving more difficult than others. Okay, so we're not going to bore you with that one. It's all text anyway for the first, what, half an hour of that game? <laughs> but this is awesome. What else have we got then? I believe this is a homebrew. This is the space one, isn't it? I played this one on the last version of the emulator. Um, let's go. What's fire? What's fire? Give me fire! Resume. Yeah, come on. Why can I not fire? I don't know what the fire button is. Oh, <laughs> I cannot not do it. No, it looks like we're not going to get it. Yeah, there is apparently uh, somebody's made a more or less like a plugin or a hack or workaround so you can get the direct inputs to work. Apparently, like I said, I've not tested it. This is the first time I've booted this up and I'm um, showing it with you guys. So, yeah, it's working. It's working. Use the right joystick. Oh, I haven't got the right joystick. Joypad's definitely not working. So yeah, it is working, obviously, the game, but it's not working in terms of inputs. It's something that I'd have to dig into deeper. Again, proof of concept, it's working now, the emulator itself. My God. So let's exit out of there. And this one, I believe, is the bouncing ball thing again. So yeah, we'll give it a go. It's running too well, if anything. Last time, this was running, what, about two frames per second? This is great news. So, let's go back and have a look at the website. So, close. Uh, this one, apparently, is made kind of by the same team we're working on Yuzu. However, they've got a different approach. With this one, they use C Sharp instead of C++ or C. Now, I know that many of you are into the programming and development, especially of emulators and things like that, may think that that's a pretty... Uh, crazy way to go however from them doing their tests and things like that they are saying that they're getting more performance from running it this way so a couple of the there's a bit of overlap with the developers that are working on this and a bit of overlap with the guys who are working on Yuzu for me it's awesome news it's two people or two groups of people working on the same ambition the same goal but making two different approaches which is great competition is awesome but the great thing that is for this one is it's not real competition it's just two different directions which hopefully would aid each other and help each other down the same path now again this is such early days with switch development um we're looking at what Realistically, you're probably looking at what a decade before you're going to get actual games working 100% across the board And that's the way emulation is it takes a hell of a long time Don't get me wrong though before then we are going to see games start to pop up become more playable Especially like we talked about with the more 2d based ones because they're the ones that are going to get running first So those games such as Shovel Knight, I don't know the more pixel based ones um, Sonic uh, Mania all that kind of stuff they're the games that you're going to see coming through first. Then, once they get the head round, once the code starts getting more intense, more developed, they start learning more about backwards compatibility and getting the games working, then you're going to get more advanced games working as it goes along. Once they get a few ticks in the boxes getting games working, then that leads to others, and it's a snowball effect. It's the same with all emulators. But, I know what many of you are going to say, oh, it's the end of the world, Nintendo's going to go out of business or that kind of stuff again I've covered this lots and lots of times in various different videos covering lots of different emulators this kind of stuff's been happening since emulators began current gen systems are being emulated all the time and has been done for decades the only difference is that now we've got the internet so you can see it happening in real time this is crazy news but to get it to a fully stable emulator where you can enjoy them to your heart's content that's going to take many many years so don't worry no one's going to go out of business or anything like that same as it's always been this scene isn't about pirating or anything like that it's about 
preserving games, heightening games, and playing games on whatever consoles or systems you want, same as any other piece of media. I know people are fed up with me harping on about that kind of speech, but I have to make it out because for some people, it's the first time they've seen my videos, it's the first time they've seen this emulator, so I have to kind of inform people as we go along. This is a new day, and <laughs> Ryu NX is a new step in the right direction for me this is awesome news now i like i said this is the first time i've covered it in detail i'm gonna go into depth for this probably with a dedicated video so exactly what we can do i have seen guis come up so you get it more user friendly you can actually configure your input so you can use controllers and things like that i'll go into more depth of a fully dedicated more informed video this is me just off the cuff just finished work loading this up let's see what happens and you're sharing the experience with me how exciting is that but i would say if you're into this kind of stuff and you want to see it go forward then please contribute i believe they have got some kind of um well they've got a discord channel they have probably got some kind of patreon or donation thing set up it helps them out at the end of the day. It's a long drawn out process. This kind of stuff isn't done for any kind of reward. Nobody gets anything out of this other than helping the scene in general. Yep, there are some emulators that go down the route of making profit out of all this kind of stuff. But as far as I know, these guys are just doing it for the love. But again, this is the first time I've looked into it and I'm just bringing to you as far as I know, guys. So hopefully we've all learned something today. I am flabbergasted to say the least that I've actually got a retro game to work that's crazy saying it but for me to load up an emulator and to get it actually working crash on me once when I'm loading some test screen because it's probably running a bit too fast <laughs> that's great news hopefully in a few weeks maybe months we will see uh, fully fledged games come through you know ones that are actually released onto the switch in particular albeit probably low-end ones but huge rides forward so there you go guys thank you for joining me today please like please subscribe please put in the comments down below if you'd like me to go into more detail with this uh anything that you would like me to bring to your attention any more games that you think i should judge if you've got any experience with this whatsoever anything that i've said that's right anything that you think is really wrong but most of all guys most of all you have a good day laters